Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus calls Peter, Andrew, James and John today who are fishermen and he asks them to become fishers of men. Late last year, the Archdiocese of Sydney launched a new plan which is part of a missionary plan that asks all Catholics and reminds all Catholics that we are called to be missionaries. We're called to be missionary disciples. And part of that is that we're called to be fishermen and fisherwomen. We're called to go out and to fish for Jesus Christ. And I think some of the skills and the abilities of the fishermen are relevant for us as missionaries, as disciples of Jesus today. So I've been thinking about fishing over the last week in preparation for today. Ten years ago, I organised a pilgrimage for young people with disabilities. And we went to the Holy Land, and then we went to World Youth Day in Madrid. And one of the young people who came on our trip um, was, or is, a, a guy from this parish who loves fishing. Every opportunity he, he has, he likes to go fishing. And when we were preparing to go on this pilgrimage, he said, oh, we're going to go fishing. I want to go fishing in the Sea of Galilee. And I thought that was a bit ambitious. But we organised it, and we did go fishing, and he was able to catch something in the Sea of Galilee. But one of the interesting things I learned from him is the importance of preparation. If we're going to be missionary disciples of Jesus in our world today, we need to be prepared. We need the right tools to fish in whatever context we're going into. We need the right equipment. We need to know the environment we're going into. What's the best time of the day to go fishing? Because you don't want to go fishing and sit there for hours and catch nothing. I've done that before, and some of you have probably done that as well. It's particularly boring. You might have someone to talk to, but that's not the, the aim of what fishing is. It's actually to catch something. And so you need to know the environment. You need to know what tools you need in that environment. You need to be prepared. So if we're going to be missionary disciples, we need to study the environment, analyse what's going on around us, analyse and think about our families so that when we go and talk to people about Jesus, we know what we're going into. We've got some of the right tools, the right methods to be able to bring Jesus to that context. So preparation is important. A number of years ago, when I was a, a kid and even a teenager, I remember there was a commercial on TV from John West. Some of you might remember John West. I think they, they still make cans of, of salmon and tuna and other things. And they had a, a, a slogan um, for their fish. It's the, the fish that John West rejects that makes John West the best. Some of you might remember this. Right throughout history, you look at the, the role of the fisherman. And the fisherman is someone who brings people to judgment. And very much the early church fathers understood the role of the disciple was to stir up the waters like the fisherman would, would do and to drag people to judgment. Part of the role of the fisherman in ancient times, but even today, is to be able to get something that goes down into the dark waters to dark situations and to attract things that are in the dark to bring them into the light so that they can then be judged whether they're worthy or not. And that's part of the role of the disciple. We're called to sometimes to go into the dark. As Christians, we're called to be people of the light. But if we're called to be fishermen, we need to know where those dark places are so that we can go there, attract some of the fish that's in that context and to drag them out. Sometimes you attract them with a, with a rod. Sometimes you need to attract them with a net. where They get caught up in the net and you need to literally drag them into the light. That's part of the role of the fisherman. To drag people from the dark, or to drag fish from the dark, and to bring them into the light. And we're called to do that as well. But we need to, first of all, know where those dark places are. Where do we need to go to bring people who are in the dark so that they can come to experience Jesus Christ as the light of the world. So we need to go to those dark places. We all have our own personal dark places. St. John the Baptist asks us to repent of our sins. Before we can come to follow Jesus, 
We need to come from the dark and come into the light. So what are those moments of darkness in our life? But what are those moments of darkness in the lives of those around us? We need to know that. So we've been prepared, hopefully. Hopefully we've got some tools and equipment. And then we need to go to the dark so that we can attract people into the dark so that they can then be brought to judgment. And hopefully people are weighed and they realise that the judgment is that God is a God of mercy. God loves us. and God wants the best from us. Sometimes, if you're a little bit like me, when I was fishing, I think as a kid, sometimes I'd catch something, it was a very small fish. And I was there sometimes with my dad or a few other people, and we'd work out, is this fish big enough to catch? Or do we have to throw it back? We had to make a judgment. God does that with us as well. And sometimes we're drawn into the light and we're told to then go back, to go back into the big ocean, perhaps to grow a bit more in our faith, to grow a bit more in our service. So we're called to prepare, we're called to judge, we're called to drag people, to sometimes do what we can to attract people, to bring them from the dark and into the light. Today is the feast day of St. Francis de Sales. He lived in the 17th century. He was known for a number of things. He developed a sign language to communicate the gospel, which is a really important thing. If we're going to communicate the gospel, we need a language to communicate it in. And he realised there were people who were deaf who couldn't understand what he was talking about. So he developed a sign language. So Francis de Sales was known for educating the people of his time, the people of, of, of Geneva, of Switzerland, and a little bit further as well from there. He said to be a missionary, to be a disciple of Jesus, and every Christian's called to be that, we need to know. We need to develop knowledge. And part of that is having a love for the scriptures, a love for learning. So today on his feast day, and, and his, one of our schools in our, our parish is named after Sir Francis de Sales, so we honour him today in a special way. We think of his ability to bring the gospel to those with disabilities, those with difficulties, those in darkness, but also to bring the right tools for all of the disciples, all of the missionaries. He educated the mind so that when people went into the world, they had the right skills that they needed. Go make disciples of all nations, Jesus asks us. He asks us to come follow him and to go become fishers of men. Peter, James, Andrew and John, they were fishermen. They knew how to be professional fishermen. Jesus uses those skills and reminds us of those skills in relation to the gospel. Let us study the environment that we are in. Let us know the people we live around who live in our street, let us know what those dark places are in people's life so that we can, when people are in moments of darkness, to come to them and help them to come to the light. Because Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And he's the light that weighs us and recognises that we are good and that we have a place in his kingdom. My friends, Jesus asks us to follow him and to become fishers of men. Let's love this, this work of fishing. Let's love this work of mission. And let's do our part to be participants in this great work of Christ in our own area this week and into the coming weeks.